image mask also contains different options for us and also quite different from shapes mask how to add image mask first you need to select your layer you want to have an image mask select that one right click then add image mask alternatively you can do the keyboard shortcut command shift m to add an image mask so let's do command shift m to add an image mask so currently we don't have anything to put on our well here so let's do add some shapes or a source for our mask let's apply this pentagon let's change the color then move it on the side then select our image mask then here on the mask source let's put the pentagon you can notice now that the circle is not visible anymore because our source for the mass is far from our circle and also you will notice that the mass source become inactive so what we need to do now is move this mass source to the circle so let's adjust the position of this one and as you can see, the shape of the pentagon is visible, but not the circle. Because we are using the pentagon as the image that will be visible for the circle. So it is quite easy again. Now, let's see some of the properties of the image mask. Select your image mask, and then you will be presented with these properties. We have the mass source, so we have, we have put pentagon in there then offset you can adjust your mask in here also reset let's reset that then wrap mode so currently we selected done which is the default if you select repeat the pentagon will repeat itself for example let's offset this one you can see there's another one here just like this so it repeats itself up and down also okay so mirror is almost the same but as you can see our pentagon just like this however if you select the mirror let's say rest reset so here is the normal shape but if you select the mirror it will create a mirror image of the source just like this let's reset that one and drop mode let's reset again so source channel currently it's alpha so it means all the visible things of the source will show then if you click that one you will be presented with red green blue and luminance so why is that when we select red our circle disappears because the value of this pentagon has no red in it. Let's double check. So here on the RGB sliders, you can see that there's no red in here. However, if we change the source channel to green, let's turn up again, our circle will be visible. And also blue, it will be visible. Because in here on the RGB sliders, you can see that the green and blue is all the way up here, 255. Quite easy. So for now, let's select alpha. Next is luminance, by the way, luminance. You will use this luminance if you want your shape to have a gradient effect. For example, so currently it's luminance, right? Let's go to our pentagon, which is our mass source. Then let's change the fill mode to gradient. Then now let's change the color of this. Let's adjust it, adjust item for the gradient. Okay. So let's turn up again this layer. So you can see that our circle have this gradient style fill. Only the brightest part is visible while the darkest part is invisible. Let's adjust again, just like this. So this is what luminance do. Luminance in short is show the brightest part and hide the darkest part however if you select the mask blend mode to in subtract it will do the other way around 
So if you select subtract, the darkest part will be visible and the brightest part will be invisible. So, so let's select alpha again. Then invert mass is all similar to what we have discussed earlier. If you check this, it will do subtract because we have selected add. And you if you select subtract, it will go to add. Then replace and intersect, same. Okay, so this is stencil. I usually just leave it blank or just leave it on default set 